Hello and welcome, Gemini. This reading is for the sign of Gemini. Could be sun, moon, rising, doesn't matter. Um, take it as it resonates. It's a general reading. It's for the month of March. Okay, and I'm starting with the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Moving on to the Fairy Oracle. Um, and then I will use the Chakra Wisdom Tarot and clarify with the Smith Weight Tarot. So let's get started with our Moon Oracle. Space has been cleared, um, cleared and cleansed. The space, the cards, everything's been shuffled and cleared. And we are ready to start our message. Full moon power. Wow. Full moon power. She's in touch with her intuition. Look at that moon. Good card. Full moon power. All right. I'm going to read that card. So that we can get a feel for what this uh, this reading will be about. There we go. Full moon. Power. Step into your true power. Shine brightly. Do not hide who and what you are. The time is right to attract big things for yourself. Ancestral energy is important. Open your mind to larger possibilities. Big magic can be wrought. Nice. You are made of the very swirling matter that is the stuff of stars. You are pure possibility, changing constantly, renewing and transforming. Take this moment to recognize that power and rejoice in it. For your next step is the precursor to your future self. Nice card. Okay, move into your power. So I'm gonna pull some of the Fairy Oracle now. My knee, I don't know how to shuffle today. Okay, here we go. First fairy oracle, ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. See, he's reaching down to help her. Very nice. Ask for help. Okay, what else do we have? Look in a book. Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight you seek. And one more of these. Believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the Northern Light says you are part of nature, so you are magical too. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful card. Believe in magic. All right, now let's pull some of the chakra wisdom. Hmm. Three of coins. Three of coins. Teamwork. Pentacles. There we are. Yay. 
Butterfingers again. Okay, now let's put one under here. The Knight of Coins. The King of Swords. King of Swords. Nice. Okay, we're going to take three more cards down here. Another one under the Three of Coins. We're going to pick another card. The Ace of Coins. A new beginning in Pentacles. Maybe a new career or something. New opportunity of moving in a different direction with your career. Ask for help. Three of coins is teamwork, so that goes right along with asking for help, working as a team. Uh, new, new financial opportunity, beginning. Look in a book, the Knight of Coins. He brings in an offer an offer for a stable uh, financial beginning. The magician, you have everything you need to create the life you want. Now, let's see, believe in magic. And the king of swords, he's very intellectual and in control, very wise in his decision making. We got the death card. This is a transformation card. Look at her. She's leaving this 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 vision of herself behind. Moving on to a higher uh, vibrational living. I mean, she's she's just emanating and glowing. Let's let's clarify these. Clarify. Okay, let's clarify the ask for help. All right. King of Cups. King of Cups. In touch with his emotions. He's a compassionate ruler. He's compassionate, understanding, but he is also in control. He is the ruler, okay? He rules his emotions. The four of wands, 11, 11. <laughs> Stable. Celebration. Got abundance in there. Wonderful home life. Look at that. The Nine of Pentacles. Yes. Very good. You're building your um, financial security and stability here. Ask for help, as we have the three of coins here. Underneath that, ask for help. I'm gonna clarify the three of coins now. This teamwork, this working together, we have the hermit. The hermit. Hermit. So we're taking a time out to contemplate. We're asking for help because we want to create these stable foundations, financial security, and we want to be compassionate, in control. We're going to take a time out and we're going to reflect on things. There's an opportunity for teamwork, but look at this three of coins. 
And maybe we're reflecting and deciding. We have a seven, the seven of wands here, holding your ground. Following your dreams and passions and holding your ground for what you believe in. And the Knight of Wands coming in. Yeah, with an offer for your passions, for your desires. Taking action towards those passions, desires. Let's clarify the Ace of Coins. Mm, the Five of Pentacles. Left out in the cold. It would fill out the Five of Cups. Feeling a loss. Feeling a loss. But you have the Three of Cups here, which is a celebration. Friends coming together. There's a loss somewhere. But it looks to me like it works for, for, to bring in something better. You just need to acknowledge the loss, acknowledge the sorrow, deal with it. Embrace this uh, ace of coins coming in, this new opportunity, this new beginning. You're going to be celebrating with your friends, celebrating the new beginning. Okay, look in a book. Clarify the look in a book. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. So make sure you're being strategic and thinking things through and you're aware of what's going on around you. If there's anything you need to clarify, any more information you need, then do your research to get that information. Collect that information, okay? So that you can make a wise decision. The fool embarking on the journey. So you want that information before you step out, okay? Before you take that leap. Fulfillment. Okay. We have the nine of coins, this new message of some financial opportunity coming in. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Goodness, yes, the Queen of Pentacles. She's secure, confident, abundant. Absolutely. Just make sure you do your research before you take your leap of faith to fulfill your dreams. Take this, this opportunity. Okay, let's pull some more clarifiers here. Balance and harmony. Six of Pentacles. Keep things balanced and harmony. Uh, an equal give and take, okay? Whatever this opportunity is, make sure, make sure it's balanced and there's an equal give and take. The tower. All right. Okay, we have something coming in causing sudden change. Sudden change. It is a sudden change. It's something unexpected coming in that's going to bring change, okay? You're putting in a lot of hard work here. You're dealing with losing some things here. You're doing your research before you move forward, before you take the leap of faith, working, making sure things are balanced, and there's a sudden change that comes in here, okay? Some 
cataclysmic moment where things get turned around, but this is going to work in your favor. Okay. This is going to clear out the things that no longer serve you and, and put you in a place where you're working with the proper tools to create the life you want to create. Let me clarify this card. We have the hanged man, yes. Okay. Looking at things from a different perspective, a new perspective, taking a time out, allowing things to flow, do not resist, okay? This tower is going to come in and it's going to be very hard to relax and not fight it, but you're going to have to. You're going to have to let go, let things take their course and transpire, okay? Renew yourself there. Take the time out that you need. Because once this is cleared up, you're going to have everything you need to create what you want. Here's your nine of wands. He's tired. Okay, he's been pushing. You don't want to push too hard. You want to allow things to flow. The ace of cups. New beginning. The cups overflowing. There's abundance. Look at this. Blessed by spirit. Yes, it'll be a hard time. But you will be blessed in the end. Okay? Just keep that in mind as these things occur. You will be blessed. Okay. Let's clarify the believe in magic. The High Priestess, in touch with intuition. I think she kind of resembles her. <laughs> and the blues. The prosperity. In touch with her emotions there. Stability. Intuitive. The Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. Financial rewards. Success. Okay, accumulated wealth. So whatever change this brings, it is going to be a positive change for you in the long run. The star. The star. Awesomeness. This is the peace after the storm, okay? This is new hope and wishes fulfilled. The King of Swords, he's intellectual, he's in control, he's very wise in his decision making, okay? So, you exercise your wisdom, clarity of mind. Okay, he's very clear minded, level headed. The King of Wands, passions. Okay, compassionate. So, not just intellectual, there's a balance here. Following your passions, your dreams, being intelligent, level headed, having clear direction. the eight of wands everything falling into place here things being fulfilled the knight of pentacles new offer coming in new message something coming in about your finances uh, maybe uh, an offer to step up your game here financially then we have the death the transformation card as she see she's turned away from this this version of herself here stepping into a higher version of herself make a decision okay get clarity here get clarity 
whatever this offer is, maybe you need clarity to make the decision because this decision is walking away from something, okay, the old version of yourself into the new version. Make the decision. Take off the blinders and make the decision. <laughs> Ten of Cups, fulfillment. Your dreams and wishes fulfilled. Okay, success. Abundance, family. This is wonderful joy. Celebration here. Victory. 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 Very nice. You have, you do have some um, <laughs> challenges coming in, but whatever transpires through those challenges, it's all for the good, okay? It works to your benefit. Keep that in mind as you're going through them. Don't let them bring you down. Because this is a very positive reading and all, I mean, in the end of it all, it is very, you're gonna come out victorious successful, prosperous. It's all good opportunities coming, okay? Keep your wits about you. Okay, ready? I'm gonna close with an fairy oracle, right? Maybe I should use another one. No, that's good. Fairy oracle is purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answer to your question. So when you're dealing with these things that are going on, okay, when you're having to gain your uh, information, your resources, you're looking at things, you're deciding, you're dealing with heartache or any kind of hardship, cataclysmic moments, okay, go within. Go within, okay? Look within, within your heart. Trust your heart. It will lead you in the right direction. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close with a rune. joy, pleasure, bliss, well-being, happy, fulfillment, okay, favorable conditions. Feel the gratitude because everything at work here is working for your benefit. So make sure that you are approaching things with an attitude of gratitude, okay? Your wishes are being fulfilled. Your dreams are being fulfilled. This is positive. This whole reading is positive. You will overcome any obstacles and adversity that comes your way. Okay? And that is for the month of March, Gemini. Have a good month. Have, have a good next week. Um, a, good, a good day today. Be blessed in your endeavors. And I will see you next time. Blessings to you all. If you like what you saw or what you heard at the reading, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. You can hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified of future readings. Thank you so much.